Welcome back. Within next 14 minutes, I will create a React login form using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Here I will implement dark and light mode changing option like this and also it will work based on your system mode. Here I have a Next.js 14 project as logging from theme. Inside Tailwind config file, first remove the background gradients, then add our theme colors. Also, I need two linear gradient colors inside the background image. Next, remove all the unnecessary codes from the global CSS file. Here, I need a Roboto font with weight 400 and 500. Let's run this project. Here remove all the HTML codes and change the default function name to auth page. Inside main, I need a div with two aside. Let's add the body background color here. Now add our content. Inside first aside, let's add a heading and two anchors. Inside this aside, add a nav with two anchors, which I will use to switch between logging and registration form. Now create our logging form. Our main should be full width and height. Here I'm using flex to keep everything in the middle of the page. Our div should be flex with max width 800px. Both aside will use 50% space individually. Also adding border radius. Next decorate this nap part with flex and justified end I will put this anchor on the right side. Now add different background color and text color to show which form is selected. Let's decorate our form. For the left aside, I need to add background image. For that, let's add our image inside Tailwind config file.
Here add the background image with no repeat and cover. Here is our image showing. Now decorate the text and anchors. To put everything center and bottom, I am using div with flex. Also adding background overlay. Next I need to enable this button functionality. Before that let's add a little bit gap between two input fields. Here I break two forms in different components. For that I'm adding components folder inside src and creating logging from tss file. Add our logging form html code inside default function. And call this component inside our page. Here everything is working fine. Now duplicate this logging form and convert to sign up form. And update all the necessary changes. Also call this component inside main page. With little update, here is our registration form. To enable this toggle button, I need a react state variable. Before adding that, let's add use client at the top. Initially, state will be false. If the state is false, it will show the logging form. If state is true, it will show shine form. On clicking the anchor, change the state. Here it is. There is a little jar. Cause the region form have three fields. To fix that, let's add a fixed height to the side. Also the button's color is not changing. To enable that here I am using conditional operator inside class. As per the state of the variable, color will change. Here reverse the color. Here is the result. Now implement the dark mode switch at this corner. First add a component as toggle theme. Here I need two buttons inside the nav. Let's add the icons. You can get free SVG icons from webgraphics.com. Link in the description. Add fill color and width height to our SVG. Now position this nav at the top right corner. 
Now import this component inside our layout file. Here it is. Let's add the functionality. First I need a state variable as theme. Initially it will be light. As per the state variable, button will change. Inside the use effect react hook, check if the theme local storage exists or not. If it is exit, then add the value to the state variable. Else check if shift stand mode is dark or not. If true, then add the dark as theme. Inside another use effect hook, as per the state variable, update the local storage value. And add or remove dark class on the dome. On click of the button, let's change the value of the state variable. This button is working. Now add dark mode as class inside Tailwind config file. Let's add different background color inside body in the dark state. Here we go. Similarly decorate all the elements for the dark mode. You can download this project from webgraphics.com, link in the description. Also I am planning to create a fully functional e-commerce website using Next.js and Telvin CSS. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Here is the final result. Thanks for watching, please like and share. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.